10 Natural D First Aid Remedies Many people prefer natural home cures to store-bought ones when it comes to simple first aid. Fortunately, there are a variety of natural cures available right at home. It's not only cost-effective, but it's also all-natural, which can't be beaten. 1. Baking soda for bee stings. Baking soda may be used in your house as a cleaning agent or to keep food fresh, but it also has a variety of additional purposes. Everyone has baking soda in their kitchen, so it's a quick fix. Pour baking soda into the palm of your hand, add enough water to make a paste, and put that right on a bee sting to help decrease pain and inflammation. 2. Basil for mosquito bites. Although this custom has limited proof in medical literature, a component used to prepare spaghetti sauce, basil leaves, may help ease the itch. You can safely reduce some of the itchings by rubbing a few leaves directly on the affected area. The oil from basil leaves can truly function as an insect repellent against both day and night biting mosquitoes, according to studies. Keep basil in your kitchen or plant it in your garden to have an itch reliever and natural bug repellent on hand when those bothersome insects are out in force. 3. Aloe plant for sunburns. An aloe plant is a wonderful addition to any home. It's been used medicinally for decades to treat everything from itchy skin to acne, and it can now be used to speed up bruise healing. 4. Witch hazel for bruises. Witch hazel may assist in diffuse blood that is accumulated in the bruised area, as well as lessens inflammation by boosting blood flow near the skin surface. When you notice a bruise developing, apply ice to the region and elevate it if possible, then soak a small cloth in witch hazel and apply it to the bruise several times a day until it disappears. 5. Arnica for swelling and pain. Arnica, a daisy-like flowering herb, can aid in tissue repair, inflammation reduction, and pain relief. Arnica can be used topically or orally for mild traumas such as bumps, bruises, swelling, and tight muscles. 6. Honey for scrapes. Honey is a lesser-known healer, yet it's been used for ages to treat cuts, scratches, and deeper wounds. Clean the area thoroughly for small scrapes. Then combine a tablespoon of manuka honey and a tablespoon of fresh aloe vera gel in a blender. A medical expert should be consulted if you have cuts or wounds that are deeper than the surface. 7. Calendula for cuts and burns. Calendula, which is derived from a flowering plant in the marigold family, can be used to cure a kitchen burn or minor cut if it isn't a significant burn or deep laceration. Calendula is antimicrobial, which means it helps to keep bacteria out of the wound, prevent infection, and promote healing. 8. Time for cuts. Another trick for cleansing cuts is to use thyme, a common culinary spice that has some little-known therapeutic effects. To use, bring a cup of water to a boil, then add 1 teaspoon of dried thyme leaves and steep until cool enough to apply to the skin with a clean cloth. They can be used to boost the benefits of mild soap and water when cleaning a wound. A similar effect can be achieved by mixing a half teaspoon of tea tree oil with a half cup of warm water. 9. Onion sugar syrup for a cough. Cut two yellow onions into thin slices to produce the syrup. Then, in a glass jar, top the onion slices with two tablespoons sugar. Allow for at least 12 hours of resting time before straining the remaining syrup. To get rid of a cough, take a teaspoon of this. 10. Cayenne pepper for headaches. Mix 1 4 teaspoon cayenne pepper with 4 ounces of water to dilute. Coat the inside of your nostrils with the mixture using a cotton swab. There will be a minor burning sensation, but if it becomes too severe, stop. You'll notice that your headache is gone as the effects of the cayenne wear off.